Hi everyone, Marianne here, Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. Uh, I'm here to do Tarot Scopes for October Part 2, where I'll be looking at air and water, all of those signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and in water, Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. There will be timestamps in the drop down menu below my video. Okay, this is for your sun sign or your rising or uh, your moon. If they're in any of these signs, you might want to check out all three of them. And uh, you can go to part one and look at earth and fire uh, signs there. Again, time stamped uh, for each of the signs there. Um, and get a, a, full, a full look at uh, what your month ahead might be like. It is a general reading, uh, so it won't resonate with everyone. Uh, but if it does, uh, claim it. Uh, if it doesn't, perhaps come back to, uh, to it later on in the month. Uh, I have to say, I don't do personal readings. If anyone approaches you, I'll bring you a personal reading. It is not me. Please block and report them. Uh, the lucky thing that I had when I got that plaque, that silver plaque there, was that I get a little tick after my channel name. And when in the comments, I also, it's a dark circle with the tick there as well. That's how you know it's me. Um, so uh, please, any scammers, block and report them. All right, let's get started. Uh, we'll, go, we'll start with Libra at uh, 1.44. Okay, let's have a look at Libra. I'm using the Field Tarot, um, the Astro Matrix Tarot, and the uh, the Oracle cards are the Sacred Forest Oracle. Okay. All right. Let's go with a Libra. Let's see if I can pick up anything intuitively for clairvoyantly for Libra in October, Libra in October. So there has been, uh, I've seen the Ten of Swords, so there has been a downfall in a way. Could be a fall in your thinking, um, something that you've been holding on to for a long time that you actually have to let go of. This marks a new cycle coming in for you uh, and it is time, uh, I'm just getting a draw to the way you're thinking, uh, what's going on. Uh, in your thought processes, it's time to open up a new way of thinking about something. Often we can get bogged down uh, in our personalities uh, and sometimes it's uh, liberating, liberating to um, put our personality traits aside for a minute and just be absolutely neutral about something and then that can spark a learning and then we can see something in a whole different light. Okay, Libra, let's see what else is coming up for you. On the split, we have uh, the Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups, Transition and Love. So love can be about uh, your uh, family, uh, can be your partner, can be your friendships. Uh, and Transition means moving into uh, Karma Waters, so moving on from that position. Uh, so there could be that this situation for some, not for everybody, has to do with a loved one and the way you view them or, or you think about them. Um, and, you know, maybe there's a bit of loftiness there. Uh, I have my moon in Libra, so I, I'm not, I'm not being... I'm not being uh, critical, uh, it's just that Libra, because they can see both sides of the equation and they, they are the sign that balances the scale, can kind of get caught up a little bit in their own judgments. Um, okay, all right, I don't know what sparked that, but there you go. Uh, maybe that's something for me to consider uh, with my moon in Libra. All right, let's uh, let's go Libra for Librans in October. I think if this message is for you, it will resonate with you. And if it doesn't, it's not for you. Okay, Libra. All right, show me Libra in October. Libra in October, please. Libra in October. Yeah, and the Ace of Swords. So definitely the Ten which is the Ten of Swords, which is the ending of something, and the Ace of Swords, which is a new kind of clarity around something important. So have here the moon straight up. 
Uh, this is the field tarot. Uh, the moon can be exploring our feelings. It can be doing a deep dive on our emotions. It can speak to volatility. Uh, and it can also speak to the madness of, of, of something, including repeating a pattern. So we have the moon here. We've also got the eclipse uh, in your sign as well. Uh, and so around the time of the eclipse, is going to be very important for you in some way. Now we have the five of pentacles and it, in this deck, they're calling this destitution. It's uh, in the right of ways. It's about feeling like you're always, it's a feeling of lack, not of abundance. And so this could be what you need to change uh, in order to get clarity on the new by simply understanding just how abundant your life, whether that's your finances, if even if you don't think so, uh, it's about counting your blessings. It's about manifesting gratitude. So yeah, Ace of uh, Pentacles, wealth is at the foundation of the reading. So for some Librans, this is your attitude to money that must change and uh, to uh, acknowledge, as I said, that uh, abundance is yours, that you do have blessings. Uh, it's counting your blessings and counting the um, the coins, if you like, um, can often spark, uh, can often bring abundance to you. But there seems to be a new attitude here with that Ace of Pentacles turning up. Now we have temperance in the past and that's weighing uh, both sides again, a little bit like Libra, but this is uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius's card and it has to do with an orientation to the future. It's about how you're going to see the future and moderation is an interesting thing because moderation we think of, oh, well, I'm not extreme in any way. I'm very, very down the center. But moderation can also be about how you think about yourself, how you think about your future. It's about balancing your thoughts to see a clear horizon. And in a way, that is the definition of optimism of uh, Sagittarius is known as, as optimistic. And, uh, and so this is in the past. So you've, you've had a shift here. You've gone from being... I wouldn't say pessimistic, I'm not going to say that, but not as confident in the future as what you should be to being a little bit more uh, able to see the horizon. And that that's kind of extending to your attitude to money. Now we have the Eight of Swords, uh, which is crowning this reading, what's in the sky, isolation. Uh, perhaps you have been isolated, perhaps you have needed to be around uh, people, perhaps you've let worry take over you in some way and it's been clouding your thinking. We have another ace here, so there's a lots of lots of newness. Um, the ace of cups, which is uh, planting the seeds, it is the seed of love uh, and how you radiate that outwards. And so there is just a lot of newness here, Libra. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> Perhaps you've been feeling like you've had to stand your ground, like you've had to defend yourself, but you've been doing that quite ably in a very, very strong way because the environment around is vision, is vision for the future. Vision for the future. Wow, I can feel it. Um now, in the hopes and fears, we have the King of Swords, which is uh, your energy, authority. In the hopes and fears, have you got what, what is needed? Uh, do Can you make that leap? Uh, this is also planning and strategy, uh, strategizing. Have I planned enough? Is it time to plan now? And is, is that what you've been fearing? The outcome is Four of Swords, interesting, rest. Why would that come up? Why would that come up? Um, rest in this in this deck, but in other decks it can be, it can be stepping back, uh, in a way, retreating in a way. <clears throat> Is that the ego thing I was talking about? Let's have a look. Uh, perseverance. It's clarified by the seven of pentacles. Perseverance. Seven of pentacles is the minor arcana manifestation. So, I know what that is. If some of you have. 
whatever the situation is, for some it'll be um, work, for some it'll be relationships, for others it'll be health. You have persevered. And as a result, you've manifested this new future. Or I won't say a new future, I'll say an ability, a very grounded, realistic ability, a very balanced, temp temperate ability to look to the horizon and see very clearly what is coming towards you. And what is coming towards you are the seeds of something new. Now we have the nine of disculmination. Again, this is a lot of pentacles showing up. Um, this is when things culminate. You have everything that you need. So I think this is an achievement in some area of life, which will show up very strongly in October for you, Libra. I'm very pleased with that reading. Um, at the base of the uh, pack, which is the underlying energy, we have choices, pardon me, seven of cups. Whether you make a good choice or a bad choice, whether you sit in illusion or whether you do not. Uh, the five of wands competition, this can be the ego as well. And then we get two of, uh, two of cups, again, speaking to relationships. And there's the tower. Something has been restructured lately for you. And it's bringing with it the energy and the seeds of something really good coming up for you. And you will see it because this has come up so strongly for you, Libra. You will see it. Uh, you will see it emerge or start to come towards you in October. Very interesting. All right, let's pull a, a uh, oracle card for you from the Sacred Forest Oracle. The Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn. What can you show me for Libra in October? Libra in October. Libra in October. So we have here Stag Spirit Leadership. You could be called upon to lead in some way. That's not uh, being made the boss at work. This can be leadership, uh, can be guidance as well. And then we have Starry Night Acceptance, accepting something. This is what I was getting at at the beginning of the reading. It's about, and that's where that moder moderation, temperance energy comes from. It is about accepting something. Um, and then we have Wizard of the Woods, focus. You can't, uh, you can't focus, you can't lead until you have acceptance uh, in those areas of your life that trip you up all the time. So I think it's, you know, focus is coming into, into, uh, into the view and you're feeling a lot more optimistic in the future than you have been for a while. And in a way, it's, it's renewal of your power. So many uh, people are under the illusion that uh, if your ego is feeling good, that's powerful, but it's, it's exactly the opposite. It's when you are egoless, egoless, when you are in a state of equilibrium, uh, when you are in a state of temperance, um, where the ego is not at the fore, that is when you are at your most powerful. Okay, so let's go to Gemini. That was quite a long reading, Libra, but uh, I go with the flow and I guess you need it. 1323 for Gemini. All right, uh, Gemini, Gemini. Let's have a look at Gemini. Shall I just, I just want to clean. <laughs> There's just a smudge on my glasses. Let me just clean that for you. Okay. All righty. Let's look at Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So we're looking at Gemini for October. Gemini energy, Gemini. What are we seeing in October, Gemini, for Geminis? What's happening in October for Gemini? Gemini in October. Something has come out. Sorrow. Who's been... Uh, feeling uh, or, or has been sorrowful, mourning, um, feeling like they've been a little bit betrayed. That's that's not a message for everybody, but that certainly jumped out for you. All right, let's have a look. Gemini, Gemini, what's coming up for some Geminis here? Okay, there's light behind that Three of Swords, so you are recovering from some kind of, some of you are recovering from some kind of... Um, loss here uh, and it could have been from a life partner I'm sorry to have to say that uh, for some it has been the parting and I just want to um, 
parting of a life partner, either they've passed over or there's a divorce here. But I just want to say that if they if they have passed over, they are still around you. They always will be around you. Look for the coins. They're showing me a plate full of coins. Look for coins. Look for those times where you may be sitting down and toasting something with friends or family. That That's particularly uh, important. They'll be around there as well, those joyous, happy occasions. Um, but they will make themselves known by um, show, they'll, you'll step on a coin or you'll find a coin and then you'll know that they're around you okay Gemini that's interesting Gemini what's that's interesting Gemini what's coming up for Gemini Gemini what's coming up for Gemini Gemini in October books okay for some Geminis you've got your head in the books or you will have your head in books you might read a book some of you could be writers some of you could be publish, publish, publishing that's not uncom uncommon for Geminis uh, they are the sign of communication inner outer uh, thoughts uh, writing speaking communication all right and you're associated with the third house in the zodiac all right, Gemini, what's happening for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini? What's happening for Gemini? Gemini in the month of October. Show me Gemini in the month of October. Right, oh, so we have the seventh of uh, Pentacles here, which is perseverance. It can be um, if plan A doesn't work, you're going to look at plan B. Then we have the devil. Okay, so that's crossing you. So for some Geminis what are you being stubborn about what m must you achieve uh, when you know it doesn't matter what the cost um, there's something here around your perseverance has gone too far <laughs> okay get we get the sun here which is nice to see this is happiness so oh I know what's happening here you've been triumphant over uh, something that you have been it could be it could have been an addiction could have been an unhealthy behavior um, you're sticking to sticking to it sticking to the plan B you know you're not not giving up this time and you are moving through that devil energy as a result and that's why the devil energy exists it's about beating beating uh, beating whatever the attachment is whatever the the darkness is for you. It's about moving through that darkness and into the light. And, and here we have the sun, which is happiness. Um, the tower is in the past. So whatever event this was, um, it, it was meant to happen in a way to uh, force you toward conquering your devil, if you like, conquering your uh, the devil that, that you've maybe, maybe it's a ha habit that you've had that hasn't been doing you any good and maybe it's a relationship that hasn't been doing you any good but you knew you knew it you acknowledged it and you worked hard to overcome it and we've got happiness here and we've got movement with the eight of wands crowning this reading in the immediate future we have the ace of pentacles wealth Okay, so again, like Libra, there's something new. Uh, there's the seed of something new occurring. You could get news uh, that you've had a breakthrough in something, that <coughs> that you're, um, you know, that there's an investment that's paid off. I just feel there's news coming around money for some Gemini's. Now, the Prince of Cups can be an offer of something. It can be love. In this deck, though, it's introspection, an interesting interpretation. An introspection of what? An in introspection of your loving relationships and connections. Uh, and we have uh, the atmosphere around is competition, the five of wands. Again, this can be a tug-o-war, can be the ego, if you like. Um, but after the five, we have the six of wands, which is victory. So... Uh, I don't know how you're feeling at the moment, but I, I feel a sense that you're going to be triumphant in the end. The Princess of Cups, or the Prince of Cups, or the um, Knave of Cups, Page of Cups, I should say. 
Ah, uh, this is dreams. What are you dreaming of in this deck? But it can be it can be an apology. This is in the hopes and fears. It can be somebody reaching out to you. It can be a surprise. Uh, a surprise that takes you takes you aback a little bit because you weren't expecting it. It's a good surprise for you. And we get the Ten of Cups, which is harmony. What a beautiful card. It's when you achieve that last cup. When you achieve that last cup, you have unconditional love. And I feel this is where you're moving to. Uh, and we get the Ace of Wands, which is new newness, new new uh, passions, new motivations, new new dreams, new dreams, because we get energy and the energy to put into them. Oh, wow. Uh, and then we get the five of uh, pentacles, which can be feeling like you don't have the, have the um, finances, have the resources to achieve what you want. And then we get the prince of swords determination. The truth is you do. And the truth is that you will. This is perseverance over the this devil energy. You're going to get exactly what you want, and you should start planning for it because we get the two of uh, two of wands planning something coming to fruition in time. Now the five of swords, uh, you can be feeling like you um, again the devil energy. Okay, so it's a it's a double edged sword here. In one way, you've got perseverance and uh, and determination. And you should start planning for that uh, to achieve that goal. But on the other, you keep thinking about, but what if? What if I'm defeated? What if you're sabotaging yourself? Have faith. Have faith. And then we get the justice card. What is yours will come to you. What has been taken away from you will come back to you tenfold. I feel like I'm like some sort of magician handing out, uh, handing out, um, I don't know, uh, bouquets uh, of flowers um, because what is yours will come back to you. And we get love at the base of the pack. We get the emperor card control, perhaps controlling your instincts toward feeling like you always have to trip yourself up because you're just not confident enough in, in an outcome. Uh, keep going because you have every chance there of achieving your goal whatever that goal is all right let's pull an oracle card for you for gemini in october can you show me gemini in october gemini in october show me gemini in october show me gemini in october Gemini in October. Show me Gemini in October. Power, dragon power, and renewal, frog spirit, and the earth spirit stability. So uh, your power is coming back online if you felt that it, that has been offline. You just haven't felt... Uh, like you can uh, claim anything. Um, it's like a renewal of your power base. And Earth Spirit means stability. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. So don't, don't sabotage yourself into thinking that this won't last um, because it, it, it looks like the, it's going to be stable and we get there's your energy, Air Spirit knowledge. Wow, you've got every chance of reaching your goal, Gemini. Go with the flow. Go with the flow and um, don't sell yourself short. All right, let's move to Aquarius at 24-23. Aquarius, what's happening for Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, what's happening for Aquarius? Aquarius, what's happening for Aquarius in October? Can you show me Aquarius in October? So you're gathering something, resources, saving for the future. You're putting things away. 
uh, why is this? Okay, some of you could be traveling, taking a trip. I see you uh, at a, like a, a crossroads with signs. You may be making up, uh, making decisions about where you want to go. Uh, if, if this isn't for travel, then you're saving for something else. And this could be a huge, some of you could even be taking time off. Uh, this is a huge milestone in your life, Aquarius. Um, it's something you've been wanting to do for a long, long time and you, you're just not going to stuff it up this time. You're going to make sure that you have exactly what you need to do what you want. Okay, Aquarius. Show me Aquarius in October. Aquarius in October. So we have here the chariot, something moving very, very quickly. Uh, and determination, the Prince of Swords. Wow, I knew you were determined. There you go. It doesn't, this is a ride. Chariot can actually be travel, uh, can represent planes, buses, automobiles, or whatever. Uh, and the determination here that you've got, um, whatever this change, this rapid change is, you can handle it, Aquarius. Now we have Eight of Swords. You're worried about this because it's such a major change. You're worried about whether or not uh, it, uh, it will, everything will be okay. And you're in this deck isolation. You're not talking about your worries. So if there's something major that you're undertaking, it could be a, a, a health treatment for some, for example. Um, talk about it with somebody and you will ease your mind. Now we have the nine of uh, pentacles culmination. You do have everything. You do have the resources that you need to do what you want. And we have the nine of wands resilience. Um, you earned this. You deserve it. Whatever this is. Um, this is also about saying no. It's also about barriers. Placing boundaries up. I should say not barriers. Now we get the queen of wands. And we get vibrancy in the future. So this is the energy that's surrounding you. <clears throat> with, within this massive change you're going through. <clears throat> it's going to give you a lift. It's going to really lift your energy. Ace of Wands, energy. It's going to um, <coughs> pardon me, <clears throat> make you think about the future. Make you think about the future in a way that you know you've got everything you need to achieve what you need to achieve. We have the Ten of Swords here, Despair. That's showing up in the environment around. That see, it's hard to let go of one ma of a major cycle, a major chapter in your life when you begin something new. Uh, but it looks like that's what you're doing, and you've got the energy to do that. Hopes and fears. How will I transition? Second guessing yourself. Will I be okay with this major change? Yes, you will. And we get the Ace of Pentacles, wealth. <laughs> now that can be uh, literal uh, money paying off, uh, having everything you need. Some of you who are contemplating retirement, you've got what you need to retire. Uh, it can be um, having the resources when you're gathering up resources. You've got the resources you need to make this change. It's actually destined. It's fated. We get the Hierophant. Wow, powerful, powerful cards. And the Empress, Empress, Abundance. This is hugely going to pay off for you in time. And for some, this literally speaks of generating wealth through letting go of old cycles, through like almost like a transition, like a death and a rebirth type thing, not literal death, but huge ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one i don't know why you're worried it's going to be it's going to go really well okay let's uh base of the pack we have the moon and the king of pentacles <laughs> and the hangman looking at something from a different perspective and the nine of cups wish fulfillment stop worrying about money stop worrying about have i got enough you absolutely have it is time now it is time for you to take that leap, do what you've always wanted to do, and understand that, yes, you do have the resources that you need to make this major change. There are energies, 
this month are all about change. It's all about letting go of one cycle and beginning a new, whatever that new cycle is. Let's see what we can bring forward. What oracle cards can we bring forward for Aquarius in October? Show me Aquarius in October. So we get here freedom, eagle spirit. I love that. This change is going to set you free. And we have rainbow waterfall miracles. Oh my goodness me. You, you've got a lot of good stuff coming to you. And the guardians of the land protection. Uh, you've got the protection. Please stop worrying Aquarius. You're going to be more than all right. More than all right. In fact, there's going to be luck. And I just feel that Jupiter energy. And any of you who have Jupiter placements, major placements, Venus, Sun, Moon, whatever. Uh, it's like I just feel that kind of luck and expansion coming forward. All right, uh, that is the air. Let's go to Scorpio and I will change decks. Okay, I haven't used this deck, I think, ever. And so it's nice to be able to use these decks that I have been putting away or that I've forgotten about. And I think I will change got so many um, oracle decks I should be using them okay so put that one away let's have a look at the shamanic medicine cards the shamanic medicine cards for our water signs maybe some of you are in need of healing all right, let's go to Scorpio at 31.53. Scorpio, Scorpio. I'll just give these a shuffle. Uh, and I'll pull this first because that's the way, that's the order that's come about. So Scorpio, what's happening for you in October? A mountain pass I'm seeing. I'm seeing like the Ten of Wands energy. I'm seeing somebody that is packing up their bags literally and moving on from a lot of a huge heavy burden, a huge heavy workload, um, something that they've needed to move on to, move on from for a long time. You're actually doing it in October. Show me what's coming up for Scorpio in October. So we have here South Abundance. Okay, so that tells me this change or this moving on is actually going to be quite good for you. And we have tricks to challenge. Okay, so I feel like you feel that the universe has been conspiring against you in some way, that you haven't got that abundance that you have maybe felt before. And I think you've been isolating yourself or isolated from other people. Now we have south and north. So the, uh, uh, the opposite of one another tells me that... <laughs> that you have been oscillating but well you've been isolating yourself but in isolating yourself you're cutting yourself off from a that flow of abundance the challenge is to overcome your own in a way your own mental loops now we have counsel the lodge you've, you've gotten good advice from someone good counsel and we get cave retreat i feel that goes with the solitude it has been a time of retreat for you uh and we've got endurance it's like it's been a long winter for some scorpios and we get here lower world where you've been stuck in the past scorpio gosh let's see um and then we get fire and passion coming back into your life wow this has been a long season a long dark night of the soul this scorpio or these scorpios i've been reading for it has been a long dark night of this of the soul base of the pack we have your creativity is coming back in we have imagination and these see the energies that have been generated and we have expression. This is about you immersing yourself in something again, finding your creativity, finding your passion, moving out of that solitude energy into uh, abundance. Now, I don't necessarily mean 
abundance as in wealth i mean abundance of expression abundance of energy abundance of uh, joy joy okay scorpio what's coming up for scorpio in october scorpio in october show me scorpio 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 this is the astro matrix deck and interesting has the phoenix on the cover just the energy i'm getting for you like the phoenix rising from the ashes of the past burning off the past to set yourself free for the future show me scorpio please in october so we have here the three of swords not surprised that's the energy you've been in and victory victory feeling you see the despair and you see the victory the change that is coming through here thank goodness and then we get inevitability the phoenix all things pass all things change grief ends well grief becomes acceptance becomes a gentle remembrance within you that can from time to time come forward with nostalgia but it shouldn't come forward with a lot of pain and I feel that you've been grieving and we've got a moving on here now we have judgment which is an inevitability inevitability of all change we have the sun in the past you could have all, all already experienced this change we have spirit the hierophant spiritual connection can be institutions government for example we have the nine of swords anxiety what have you been anxious about and we have the three of pentacles in the here and now so i feel that you have been tapped on the shoulder in some way to participate uh, in something whether it's work usually this is a work it's about building things it can be work it can be um, coming together with like-minded people to accomplish something and then we get the ace of swords the energy around is this new ways of thinking and this can also be creativity and newness so i feel for some scorpios it's just been sometimes new situations come through and they shake us out of our old uh, if we've got, gotten uh, enmeshed in some enmeshed in grief for example and the new situations come along and shake us out of that stagnation out of that isolation the hermit card scorpio that's virgo but scorpios have a tendency to isolate themselves as well three of wands your ships coming in so that's how come i know that this three of swords stage is over you have let go moved on from what no longer serves you and we get the queen of pentacles sitting there uh having everything you need and we get the high priestess it's like that creativity energy is occurring in you again the high priestess listen to your intuition listen to the seeds of creativity lovers some of you could have actually found a new partner uh, and there's just this beautiful new beginning here for you scorpio you see the light coming in so at the base of the pack we have fighting tug of war this could have been within yourself we have a surprise here if you haven't had this surprise the moon card watch for the eclipse we get the knight of swords you could hear something and then we get the ace of pentacles this newness whatever's been long coming to fruition has been there for a reason it's it's there for you to heal uh, and to get clarity in order to move forward i feel scorpios will be moving forward after a period of some of you of huge grieving i feel 
All right, let's look to Pisces now at uh, 39.53 for Pisces. Let's see what's coming up for Pisceans. Pisceans, so it's, it's so interesting. You see a lot of light, so... Uh, it's like it's more than just you see the glass half full, not half empty. It's like you at, are at your absolute best when you are bathed in the light of, um, I don't know what it is. It's not optimi or optimism. Uh, it could be in the flow, the light, the light that comes with being in the flow, being in the flow of life of the universe that is the potential for pisces hmm and when you're in the flow you have these wonderful synchronicities that occur it's like what most people would describe as magic that is the ability of pisceans not to shy away <laughs> From, sorry, I might have my Chiron in Pisces, so I'm just thinking about the wound and the weakness. Pisceans can be easily wounded too, uh, but not to shy away from when that flow may have gone wrong or let you down, but to embrace it fully, embrace it fully. All right, Pisces, what's coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisceans? Show me Pisces, please. Show me Pisces. Show me Pisces, please. Show me Pisceans. What's coming up for Pisces in October? You beautiful people, you. Okay, decision time. Crossroads. Seven of Cups. Making the right choices. Very much your card. You can go to the... Go to a... a, a make a wrong choice but then but then understanding what are the correct choices what are the healthy choices what are the life affirming choices what are the right choices for you you've got a decision coming up in october we have the knight of cups so this can be uh perseverance <laughs> uh this knight won't give up easily none of the knights do and this knight is presenting a cup a cup of love this can be relationships it can be hearing from someone from the past it can be an apology but more often it's an expression of love that is at the foundation of the reading get the world in the past that's endings huge major endings it's the it marks the fool's the end of the fool's journey uh and then we start again with something we have the page of pentacles this is uh getting the fundamental or foundations of um, being grounded, <laughs> being grounded, um, having the resources that you need, uh, and that is in the sky here. And we see the chariot in the near future. So we have here a journey, something new beginning for Pisces in October, something that's going to take off take off and you're going to have to be strong enough to control that chariot we get an inevitability here an inevitability of change and it could be that you're a little bit anxious about that pisces because you're you don't you're not feeling the concreteness of it um but it's there for you it's there for you and you will you will you will shake off that worry about this change and uh, gain this control because I think that's the fear for you that you will lose control but you won't and we have the eight of wands expect to hear something news something coming very very quickly towards you and don't resist it you know this can be stubbornness can be insecurity again this is what I'm feeling Go with it, even if you have to do whatever you're going to do with other people. Surround yourself with very talented people, skilled people. Um, and then we get the King of Pentacles. So this could even be going into business with other people for some Pisceans. Uh, but we have this beautiful clarity. You're not doubting yourself anymore. 
and we get happiness and we get love and here you are intuition the high priestess and the empress something coming to fruition in time i see abundance for you uh as i said some of you are going to join with other people um perhaps set up a some kind of business could even be a co-op of some description you could be doing setting up a community co-op but it's with other people and that's okay it makes you feel more secure that way but it's a major undertaking and it's going to uh it's got, the progress is going to be pretty rapid so be prepared for that all right let's pull some medicine cards uh for piscians pisces what's happening with pisces pisces in october show me pisces in october show me pisces in october present middle world stay in the present stay grounded and then we get upper world the odds of this happening very uh, low in this deck now you've pulled the upper world and this is where you like to live in the future so we go present and then upper world middle world which is the earthly world earthly realm and then we have upper world and then we get council yeah so very much this is for you pisces uh this is about what sustains you on this earth it's like your energy can dissipate um because you are in that flow and sometimes things can overwhelm you uh, but it is about learning how to manage that um learning how to manage that so that you have got that sustenance and that endurance interesting endurance interesting reading okay pisces they're the challenges i think you're overcoming them uh, but there is a decision for you to make in october and it could well entail going into um, a group of people whether it's a business or a community endeavor but it's working with others in october don't be afraid you can do it keep your feet grounded uh, and you've got the endurance that you need to uh, take this on okay cancer at 47 18 my cancerian people what's happening with you all righty cancer what's happening with you cancerians What's happening with cancerians in october can you show me anything to do with i'm sort of like getting ufos why am i getting that if some of you been researching ufos what's going on here cancerians what's happening with cancerians yeah it's like you're uh you're very open to energy the energy of emotions and i don't know why i'm getting this have you been reading about it researching it thinking about it it's like how emotions ripple out because for you it's all about emotions so of course you're going to be doing that it's also how your own emotions ripple out and how what they what's the word um give off how they impact on other people and it's like you send them out and you want people to receive them but sometimes people aren't on the same wavelength as you or they're not in that same they're not they don't have that same uh, goal as what you do they have their own stuff going on and it's like you get repelled by that um, but it's like you need to sustain your own emotions more and stop worrying about other people how other people are going to be feeling and concentrate just on yourself because that's how you become secure in your own emotions and that is the huge lesson in life karmic lesson in life for cancerians um okay let's have a look at cancer what's happening for cancerians in october cancerians in october you're very resilient emotionally i feel what's happening for cancerians cancerians in october what's happening for you cancer in october so we have here temperance and moderation no extremes in anything it's healing energy 
We have the King of Swords planning, strategizing, thinking about the future, uh, having the wisdom to um, be grounded in your thoughts. It's about being balanced. We have Eight of Cups walking away from what no longer serves you emotionally. Queen of Pentacles in the past. Um, for some, uh, you know, it's very easy to compare yourself to others. It's absolutely the wrong thing to do. I've always associated this card with Cancer, by the way. It's not. It's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I have associated with the Cancerian energy. Because it is about acknowledging that you have everything you need at any particular time. It's being um, independent and um, sustaining in your own energy. We have judgment. It's coming up a lot for uh, in this reading, the judgment card, which is inevitability of change. And we have an anxiety here of change as well. So we have something coming to fruition in time. What is coming to fruition in time? Movement, six of swords, travel, moving out of troubled waters, hopes and fears, carrying a huge burden, taking on too much. And then we get the five of cups, three cups lost, two cups remaining, grieving what has been lost. Could be some of you have had a loss in the family. Um, you could be thinking back to earlier uh, times. You could be thinking back to the battles that you've fought with inner circles. And we get world weariness, the nine of wands, guardrails, rest. The eclipse is going to be uh, an interesting, important time for you in some way. The moon card can be volatility of the emotions. And then we get the Ace of Pentacles, uh, new starts, new resources, abundance in a way. And then stop sabotaging yourself. So we get here her heritage legacies, sometimes familial patterns are there for us to uh, overcome in this lifetime. We get the King of Wands. That's you reaching your own uh, maturity, your God-given maturity in life. It's wisdom. Okay, so there's a lesson here around your emotions in October, Cancerians. But it's, it's about you being more solid within yourself. And being, using your own emotions to, as a gift to yourself and not dissipating yourself around others. Sometimes Cancerians tend to do that. But you're very, very strong. You're a cardinal sign. Um, you don't have to be in front of others. You can walk shoulder to shoulder with them and still, and still be secure. And still be in a leadership position. Okay. Let's see what the medicine cards have uh, to say for Cancerians. For Cancerians. I'm getting a ringing in my ear. Cancerians in October. Show me Cancer in October. So we have Authenticity Medicine Mask. Be yourself. Use your own self as a yardstick and not others. This is about, speaks to security, emotional security. Tree of life, conception. Uh, I think once you can do this, or you may already have done this, you may have already had this insight, you become extremely stable. Uh, this is conception. This is, a, this is about, um, about telling your own story and not anyone else's. And we have three people staining yourself. And we get counsel. This is again has come up often uh, as well. The lodge. Perhaps you've been doing some introspection about this very thing. Authenticity and the foundations of who you are. Now we have transmigration. So we have the moving through some kind of major cycle. Some kind of major enlightenment. 
and we have insect support um, and the drum awakening. So yeah, there's there's been some kind of like a sweat lodge process for you where you've actually had an awakening and it is around your emotions and the authenticity of who you are. Okay, all right, that's the Tarot Scopes Part 2 for Air and Water in October. Bye for now.